the tragedy of Mother Emanuel changed so many lives forever, and that includes our Governor Nikki Haley. That night one year ago, when she first heard the news, she said she called Senator Clemente Pinckney's phone and offered any help he needed. She soon found out it was a message he would never hear. It was hard because I didn't know how to protect people from it. I knew this was going to bring people to their knees. I knew that they were going to hurt. And I just, um, it, it, was, it was more than anybody could stomach. Sitting down with Governor Haley in her office at the State House, talking about a day she says she will never forget. Thinking about not only the victims, but the survivors, and how much changed in just a matter of seconds. You see something like that, and I think the biggest hurt for me was not here, not South Carolina. That's not us. That's not. And so on one part, it was a sadness that it happened. On the other part, it was just the families. I mean, you just couldn't stop thinking about the families. Governor Haley says her priority in the aftermath was to take care of the families and the survivors. She attended every funeral, even took the programs home so she could introduce the victims to her children. It's the funerals. It's the funerals that I remember, each and every one of them. I know each and every one of those that we lost. I know the survivors. I know their stories. I know what incredibly courageous people they were and how deep their faith was. And my regret is that the people of South Carolina never got to meet them because I felt like I met them through the funerals. But as governor, Nikki Haley also had a responsibility to maintain control in a situation that certainly could have produced protests and riots. But that didn't happen. And we saw it happen across the state. And what the country and the world saw were very passionate, good people that just wanted to help bring this back up. I mean, we had fallen to our knees, and it was about getting everyone to stand up again. As we were brought back up, the Confederate flag was brought down soon after this tragedy. The man who wanted to start a race war, seen in pictures with the flag, did not succeed. Quite the opposite. What this came down to was, I know so many people think of the Confederate flag as heritage and respect and sacrifice, but that murderer hijacked that flag. And what I knew is that I could never have any kids drive past the State House and look at that flag and think of those 12 people in that room, because that's what that flag meant now. Something the governor doesn't think about, Dylan Roof. She said one day after the shooting, she thinks he deserves the death penalty, and she stands by it. Can you forgive Dylan Roof? They forgave him. Can you forgive him? What do you think, Chef? I don't think about him. I don't think about him. Every day I think about the families, and every day I think about the survivors. I'm not going to give a second of my thought to him. One year, not nearly enough time to heal all wounds, but grace is something Governor Haley has talked about when it comes to the healing process. Grace defined as a pleasing or attractive quality, and Governor Haley says we have plenty of that here in South Carolina. Grace means love and kindness. Grace means acceptance. Grace means everything that the people of South Carolina showed during not just June 17th, but the weeks after. Um, grace is the families that looked the murder in the eye and forgave them. Um, grace is the survivors who live every day with what happened in that room. Based on June 17th, last year we turned a year of tragedy into a year of faith. And if we can do that, there's nothing that South Carolina can't do.